What's going on, Note Nation? Welcome back to the Tuba Crypto channel. My name is Mike. In this video, we're taking a look at Mononoke Inu. And I guess why everyone's leaving and what they need to do to boost this project back up again. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. Give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and let's dive into this one. So as you know, we've been covering Mononoke Inu for quite some time now on this channel from its very early inception to today. And I guess we've been with the rough and the smooth. Um, I look, I'm still invested in it. I'm not one of these people that are leaving. I would like to believe that there is some use case for it. And there's probably a couple of things I want to talk about in this video, why I still believe that there is a possibility with this token. However, I think it's fair to say that people's trust and optimism in this token seem to be dwindling. And I think the one big catalyst that everybody wants, and I know we've heard things about listings with L Bank and et cetera, et cetera, and they've docked to the right people, that we need something, someone to come out and just put a name to the face in this. This is the one big thing I think right now would really, I don't necessarily think it'll do anything to the price, but it would really support the team and really give people some confidence back in the project. When we take a look at some of the other things, we're at 58,359 holders. It does feel like it's been there for quite some time. Um, and with our liquidity is locked, so they have got liquidity still locked, just under $900,000 still locked away. So. All the things they said, 45% of the liquidity is still locked. See the black hole being the top wallet of nearly 5% total burns. So they haven't burned anything for a long time. You can check that. There isn't a deflationary measure in this token. So you can see here the milestones where they did burn. They haven't obviously burned anything for some time. Um, but yeah, they've got liquidity locked like they've talked around in three separate wallets. You can see that's 280 days, 268 days and 281 days respectively. So let's take a look at some of the good parts about Mononoke Inu. So it did have a very clean certic audit with was everything resolved. Now what would be interesting, and I might do, you know, if anyone knows the answer to this, is what are the criteria for getting a project audited by certic? Does it have to have a name and address? What, you know, what are the rules that sit with it? If you think a lot of big tokens get certic audits, you know, I'd be interested to see what that looks like, but a really, really clean certic audit, which is good. What we actually got from the team at Mononoke Inu, so we know they're working on the DAO, but like anything, and this is the frustrating part about this project, they release something, so they release this information about the DAO, and then they go silent again. You know, we got this sort of game footage, and then they go silent again. You know, that's the bit they need to kind of get better at, is that when they release something, it's then followed up, and it's followed up consistently and on a timely manner, and I think that is one of the biggest frustrations for the you know, 58,000 holders and 46,000 followers on Twitter is that we just don't see anything from the team once they have updated something. So let's take a look at some of the numbers. So it is unfortunately continuing down up on the 24 hour by nearly 10%, but it, it, it's generally just a decline, a constant decline down. Um, total volume at 630k, so nothing major, $35 million market cap. We do need something. We need something, and we need something quick out of Mononoke Inu. 3584 is the price. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of Mon Mononoke Inu and whether you're still bullish on this project or not. I'm still in it, but losing faith. That's going to do for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.